The 50 player custom nations game continues right now. The battle for China between Manchu and White continues. Many of the Indians are fighting Harad as Bengal develops away. Barbie Land still fighting against the Koreans in exile for the Gulf of Aden. Previous allies of Mali and Austrians in Africa battle it out as Morocco and the second Dutch expedition plan their next move. Europe remains heavily contested and the Order of Joan Arc, Lisboa, and the Kendom race to colonize the New World. My name is Absu Habibi, this is a 54 player Custom Nations lobby, all of their ideas are completely unique, you can see the first part on how we were able to manage to give everyone unique ideas that they built, and this time we are doing player interviews because many of you guys asked for it. And also I have two co-casters. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So yeah, we're going into session two. A lot of stuff happened in the session one. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, definitely check it out. It's really cool. Uh, today, we're going to try to get some interviews. A lot of uh, YouTube chatters talked about that, saying that that was one of their favorite aspects of Habibi's Daycare 1. So with that, we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to try to interview players, try to get them to uh, talk about their nations, what their plans are, stuff like that. So, looking at the map, guys, who are you the most interested in? Actually, before before we get into that, uh, Napoleon, you were playing Denmark. Uh, what went yeah. wrong? What happened? Talk about uh, that first. There's like a lot more dev in uh, in the Hansa than in Denmark, and uh, my 666, 666 kind of died in like two years, so that was kind of a doom moment already. You didn't have a 666 air. Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a democracy. A oh, republic. you're a republic. Ah. Yeah. A peasant's republic. Do you yeah. feel like not having the nobility estate hurt you? I had the nobility. No, 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 I don't. Uh, no, it was fine. That was didn't do much. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then you. What happened diplomatically? Why did a uh, creature in the Hansa attack you in the end? Uh, like uh. The, uh... Hansa kind of offered me a deal that if I didn't take Schleswig, uh, 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 it would be fine. And I kind of ignored him. Thinking, yeah, he's not gonna deck on me. <laughs> yeah, he did. So, <laughs> Fatal mistake. And then uh, then uh, the, the creature came in with like uh, a lot of troops and I had no manpower. So huh. That ended quickly. Do you think that. I, I was I was holding, but I was taking so much debt that it would not have been doable anyway. And then how was the draft for you? Did you feel like you had good ideas? No, I, I felt like I it was not coming together very well. So you think that Jewish is a meme? It's it's more funny than good, but it's still a pretty decent. But like, it, it doesn't hold up until uh, against Shinto. Yeah, a lot of people went Shinto. Uh, I I don't know. Shinto is good. Shinto is definitely really good, and you also get the incidents too, so you can yeah. get the certain yeah. events happening. You get ten morale and then can get 10, 10 death cost. So yeah, it's pretty, it's very good. Yeah, and then yeah, it you just uh, helps with military quality. And then some of the events like proliferation of firearms give you like a military bonus for twenty five years or fifty years, something like that. I think it's twenty five years. Which is quite a long time. And by the way, um, Barbie Land ended up actually calling in Wayfarers into this war. So Wayfarers is now ganking uh, Gedongo Miyanganja. I don't know how to pronounce it, but apparently according to someone in YouTube chat, this means um, Christian... Uh, what was it? It was uh, Koreans in exile or something like that, or Christian Koreans. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like uh, Barbie Land could have definitely continued winning the war one versus one. Uh... Korean exile was also ready max ones, but I guess like he was worried that the war would drag on and he would uh, bankrupt first. Because if you bankrupt first in this situation, I think you would lose. The thing is though, even if he did bankrupt first, the uh, the e Ethiopian player would have to go all the way around to come siege him because he has no navy. Um, and yeah, in that he time, cross the strait. In that time, he would probably bankrupt too. A lot of people also like, you know, when you look at uh, the Middle East, especially the Arabian Peninsula, Peninsula, you do have some trade goods, but like majority of your trade goods are low value uh, livestock and grain. So, and he's also probably thinking like, you know, flat goods produced with uh, flat goods produced on gold is pretty insane. So. And he's try probably yeah. going to snake for the two gold mines here in this war, which he can do, I think, in the peace deal if we can check right now. 
He can oh, snake oh. to one. He can't get all the way to Kafa though, because it's too much war score. So he can get the Damot, but he can't get uh, Kafa. I I got both in the peace deal. Really? Yeah. Maybe by not taking the straight crossing, you could. With the straight crossing, yeah, I got a line here. It's really ugly, but it's both. I think also oh. you gotta remember occupation reduces war score. Yeah, I think there was uh, some occupation war score uh, change because yeah. when uh, when I did it, it was like like a little under, a little over a hundred for all. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it's really over for the Ethiopia player, sadly. That can actually be pretty good if he can get the AI to occupy like Asab and uh, Masawa, like the two coastal provinces. Oh yeah, he can't and take anything. To the player and the player won't be able to take anything. The the revolt oh. needs to get their victory first, though. They need to get this for first. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but if he just uh, 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 occupies uh, Asab, then it's it's yeah. over unless he takes uh, yeah. Beha land. Actually, yeah, he Mas could. Masawa too. He needs Masawa too. One war we which is going on right now is the White versus Manchu. And actually, I think I think Manchu uh, is gonna be in trouble here if White can muster enough troops, because White does have minus 20% shock damage received, which kind of negates the shock damage bonus on Flatlands. But if they fight on non-Flatlands, I mean, most of the battle terrain is Flatlands here. Actually, every single tile yeah. here is Flatlands. There's one fort which is uh, Mount for uh, hills, in the Anqing province. But, uh, yeah, I think he'll be fine. He can outnumber him quite heavily. Wow. And those casualties, and... that casualty difference oh. is huge, though. Oh, In guys. Fire faces, though. While that's going on, uh, the Ethiopia player uncon to the AI and it cucked Barbie Land. Oh, oh my, my god. My god, I love it. <laughs> that is oh. awesome. And that is now he unconned to the player. Oh, he can't take he, anything. He didn't pause. He didn't. Oh no! Oh, no. Okay. Hey, Habibi, I, I want you to to look at the. But the want... naval morale. Did, mercantilism. Though. There's a there's a there's a bug. I think. Why? Just look at my mercantilism. Just uh, are you looking at it? Yeah. Oh no! It's it's increased. Ah, I don't know what's what's happening here. It's free for you. No no no. What country are you on? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Look! Look at my carrier points. It's beautiful. Oh, it's, Wait, uh, it's not a bug. Minus it's not a bug. <laughs> Edgar has minus a hundred percent courier cost. There's, he can do everything non-stop. The... He can stab there's... up for free. Why are you at full stab, fish? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm I'm getting to it. Wait, too. what the hell? What is going What's on? Happening? Click click mercantilism. L let me spend some more points. Uh, Get look, look, he's at 10 points. He gains mercantilism. He gains Korea powers. Every time he clicks it, it's 5%. <laughs> okay, I'll click the other modifiers. Okay. Just spam what? that. What? <laughs> click all of them. I just <laughs> proclaimed Step up, step up. People are getting... uh, let's see. Stab up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you have... It's... Oh no, you have you have a um, colony, so you can uh, infinitely re uh, reduce your Oh yeah, you can, you can just change the colony <laughs> of and, and, and this way you can farm uh, pop people in France to get the, the, the pop yourself. Yeah. Wait, how much That's what I'm doing. It's run out of pop? <laughs> he, he has such low Korea power costs and it's not capped. That's something that should probably be capped, but there's probably yes. no vanilla I... way to get to this level. Yeah, I don't think there is at all. Uh, I didn't actually learned. know about it, so I had someone test it for me, and well, it, it works. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, but when I picked yeah, it, I thought it was yeah. capped. At, I actually thought it was going to be capped at This nation cannot bizarre. get stab hit. You can never get stab hit. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're the courier controller and you take the, the minus 50% uh, courier as powers As power courier controller is kind of OP. Well, yeah. he still doesn't have 100 mercantilism, even though he can get it. Well, right man. now, if we look at watches no, of the wall, they have 180% fort defense. 184% fort defense on watches on the wall. 199 yeah, and then, and when, when they finish Inno, they get to 195 from uh, the policy as well. Yeah, it's literally Ruby Hole from... Um... From Ambinar. Ambinar, yeah. And there's big garrisons too. He also has garrison it's size as well. Garrisons. 10k yeah. garrisons at fort level it's 2. 15k and... Uh, so, yeah, he also has defensive ideas giving him more garrisons. 
So, yeah, if you try to rush this fort, you're probably going to lose your entire army. Oh, okay. So now we're seeing the power of the religious warriors. So this, this idea gives triple manpower in religious wars okay so i thought you needed religious ideas to do this but as long as you're fighting someone with a different religion so anyone that's not catholic he gets triple manpower increase as you can see can right here 150k yeah he has 150k man manpower his normal man manpower is 50k but because he has the triple manpower in religious wars he gets 150k so he's just gonna stay in non-stop war with the mamluks forever the war in China continues, and now Manchu is committing more troops. He's committing more troops, and it seems like this... I'm telling you guys, this minus 20% shock damage is going to help so much in this war. Manchu's not even doing that much casualties on a flat terrain as a horde, because minus 20% shock damage is negating that. And it's white that Manchu. is now with positive war score. Manchu is almost half of his loan cap taken, while white has five loans out of his 44. Ooh. So... Taking a lot of debt to win this war now. This could be really bad for Manchu. Both players committing a lot. Meanwhile, the player on Japan is chilling. Japan does take a while to launch and take off. I think the player is waiting to click more of the missions before forming Japan itself. Um, because there are uh, Japan does have a completely different mission tree than the Daimyo mission trees. 75. The Manchu banners, yeah. He has minus 75 uh, manpower usage on them. And then he also has this really OP, which I think is actually really OP, the regiment manpower usage modifier. So as you can see, even though Manchu has been fighting battle after battle, he still has near max manpower. Meanwhile, white is nearly out of manpower. Um, we also noticed that both players don't have tech 7 admin yet and aren't starting their admin ideas yet and it's another battle that white is going for again once again on the flatlands this time still using a one shock general he needs to get a higher yeah, shock general white actually took tech 8 very very in advance meanwhile Manchu's nowhere near tech 8 he's uh on 63 mil points but i don't think it will matter much since uh, the Caliphate of England it does have that plus one goods produced, that's basically every province that he owns is a manufactory. This node is insanely powerful. It's 60 ducat node in 1485, which of course, since the Order of Joan Arc controls 39% of it, he gets a lot of money from it. And not only that, Order of Joan Arc has 40% ship trade power. So, you know, it just needs to get the trade boats out and he can actually just which he already is. He's already using them. I do see something, though, that's odd, is that Joan of Arc went for galleys instead of going for uh, heavies, which is not going to do well, not going to fare well against England. Oh, yeah, why did he build galleys? He went for 12 galleys instead of either just going full ship trade po or, uh, trade ships or just going for uh, uh, carracks and heavies. Yeah, weird. Yeah, there are two separate wars. Potato Crusader is yeah. fighting against uh, Great Serbia, and Potato Crusader is just winning really hard. He has 120% discipline from his ideas and his uh, government reform, which is giving him uh, uh, 2.5 discipline, and then uh, another 2.5 discipline from Imperial Ambition. And then he also just... has a strict ruler that's 61 years old. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, this 10 discipline. This guy that got the 10 discipline right now, is this is really b very impactful. What does Serbia have for military quality? Oh, an AI rebellion is now attacking him too. It's a gank. Oh, he, he danked, no, he danked the AI and uh, then uh, Potato Crusade decked on him behind, I think. Serbia has plus one global attacker dice roll, but the issue is that now they're on the fort, so they're always going to be defending instead of attacking. So that actually, uh, the forts go against his ideas, which is really bad for him. Oh, yo, Manchu just took a lot four. of land. Yeah. That's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of man or uh, a lot of points for him. Yeah, because he's raising for sure. He, he, he can should. Raise. He should. There is the question a lot of people ask: Is why should I raise in multiplayer? I think early game you should raise, and then I think in mid to late game I don't know if it's worth raising. You know, Manchu won, but at what cost? He has twelve corruption right now, and he's taking out max loans. He's gonna go for a bankruptcy. What? Meanwhile, I think. Uh, <laughs> White is uh, also White is in a rough position, but not as bad at all. Yeah, White has taken out a lot. I think White is going to truce break on Manchu, and this might be the end of Manchu if Manchu can't hold out. Because if you <laughs> see, White has 90... He, he still has all his Merc companies, yeah, and I think he's going to duck. Yeah, he's... 
130 on army maintenance. This is a truce break. This is a truce break from white. Playing a horde if you don't get tribe rebels, man. This is one of the most painful things playing hordes. The tribe rebels. Uh, yeah, they'll just spawn always in the worst provinces to be, to spawn in as well. Yeah. You just ignore them. He, he's not going them anyway. Yeah. yeah, at least it's not uh, it's not actual rebels that would uh, release the lands. He's going to go deal with them now, but yeah, he could just ignore for a bit. Korea is going to help him, I think. He's been, it's uh, in the war and building troops. Korea is going to help Manchu? What? I mean, it's it's in the war and it's building troops, you know? Yeah, it is building troops, and it is in also, the war. Also, about Korea, I don't know why, but they still haven't like uh, accepted Filipino culture, which is 40% of their dev, <laughs> and basically the, the entirety of the Philippines. So, <laughs> I don't know what he's going for there. Maybe he's going for a cultural convert of like all of the Filipino stuff, but that's a pretty strange thing to do. He doesn't like Filipino culture. Manchu, I got you here into the interview room. You are right now just got truce broke from by yeah, white. Yeah with not that much loans to take what's the plan here uh, i'm i'm gonna try to you know push him out of the war it was uh stop hit him for max money and just and then hit. i'm probably gonna bankrupt okay and when you bankrupt are you sure that you'll be fine against uh with korea on your border he's uh, your yeah friend? i'm buddy buddy with korea we are a you're hug boxing, so you are a known hug boxer, is what you're telling us. Yes, yes, it's a pole box. It's a no, no. Pole, you're both poles. poles. Yes, it's a pole box. <laughs> he said known strategy for the poles. All right, well, thank you. Good luck with your war, sir. It's uh, Polish incidents <laughs> with the BB. Oh, yeah. He's traumatized. Uh, you know, traumatized he's just, the BB. He just said it up straight. He said, "No, Korea won't deck me when I bankrupt." Uh, he's Polish too. It's a known Polish strategy, you know, we hug box until the end of the game, even if it doesn't make sense. But here <laughs> we are. The Zwebic lobby uh, <laughs> trauma. The trauma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fighting three players just because they're all Polish. Classic moment. And, yo, know, he's trying to look for a good angle here. He's going to have to fight on the Who's hills here. Someone enforce peace. Oh, it's uh, it's AI Rebellion on Great Serbia. Oh, on That's Great his, Serbia. It's a second lost war. The angle here. You know what's funny is that White did not build the forts. This is some oh for greed. Oh my god, he's absolutely shredded right now in these yeah, shock phases. Oh my god, minus 2,000. Even with the shock damage yeah. received. Yeah, but I think he's still going to win this battle because of the sheer amount of troops with the King of the God. Unless Korea can get there in time. No, he's oh, retreating. He retreated. Oh my god, yeah. I don't that's... know if that was on purpose. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, let him cook. Let him cook. Oh, he won. He and Korea's won. going in now. No, he's not. <laughs> Korea's way yeah, behind. If Korea is, was there in the first place, it would have been he's over for them. Back. They're oh, going Korea's in. Korea's actually going in. Is it gonna? Two one. So they got they got the month tick. So they're good morale. They even replenished troops. The Morocco Spanish War. Yeah, 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 actually, he actually crossed the Gibraltar because... Uh, look, look at the amount. Like, he only has 60k troops. Oh, wait, he, he he's has. losing, though. And, he's actually uh, losing the battle. Wait, that's all so of Morocco's is, troops? All of Morocco's so, troops. is about to just stack wipe all of Morocco's yep. troops. Yeah, there you go. There's the war. Oh! There's the war. There's the war. Oh! oh. By the way, did, did you see the Korean army, too? Wait. Mali is also in this war? Wait, this is like a yeah. big-ass war. Morocco... This is a huge war. Yeah, yeah wait. Morocco, Second Dutch Expedition, Mali against Tessalian Society and Order of Joan Arc. And it's the Order of Joan Arc. They're sieging down Mali and actually winning. <laughs> so it was it was one of those piece, those one deals uh, where Mali and Morocco uh, allied each other and they help each other in the war. It's like Morocco helps against Austria and Africa and Mali helps against Tessalian Society. But um, with the Moroccan army stack wiped, he is now rebuilding his entire army. He's went from being 50k troops has, to zero. John Burke has to be careful in Africa, though, because they have no vision at all. So Mali could just walk in from a fog of war province and they could not see it coming, which is bad. But he is stacking a lot of troops. So the risk of him getting stack wiped are greatly negated. He also has full ideas right now. So he's working with uh, Innovative yeah. Plutocratic, which is also giving him tax modifier. Okay. Uh, but he does have five discipline, four point eight four morale, seventy k troops. That line fire damage though, dude. The, the where is the morale of Molly? Actually, Molly has no morale. He went offensive ideas. He does have more military tactics. So look, this guy has the biggest yeah. tactics modifier, point one. Okay, so Order of Joan Orc has one point three. 
Molly has 1.4. Ooh, huge oh god, mill tactic. Well, it's, it's 1.4 A actually. Erm. Oh my god, the Molly. It's 1.4 A versus 1.31 Erm. This is probably Molly. I I hate to hate on a player here, but the player that the Molly on Exile player probably drafted one of the worst ideas that I yeah. I've seen. These ideas this are so bad. Good. Yeah, these are <laughs> plus plus four good. max promoted culture. <laughs> yeah, minus fifty percent of uh, gold depletion. Oh, uh, <laughs> Molly's capital is now sieged down by Joan of Arc. Tactics Arc is supposed to tactics is supposed to decrease the amount of casualties you take from a battle. It's supposed yeah, to help yeah. you defensively and help you take less damage from battles. But it's not the best modifier, and actually, uh, I feel like it's one of those modifiers that gets overvalued by players. Uh, it's like Pips. The Manchu War is still going on, and it seems White has pushed them back from uh, the, the inner sanctum of their country. They need more forts. Like, this guy needs to just build the forts yeah. right now. Like, yeah, they're gonna take a, well, they're gonna take a while to build. Victoria. Almost two years. Fine. He needs to put a fort in Jian, a, a fort on his capital. And, and, and yeah, uh, Oh, he's actually for, he's yeah. building a fort right now in Jianning. If you if you want to see, yeah. while Morocco sending his troops down to go help with Mali with the uh, the French expeditionary force. Yeah, the the, the Berlin Conference two hundred four hundred years earlier. Yeah, they're going for a battle, but with almost one morale difference, he does have higher discipline and higher mill tactics on the side of uh, Mali. We'll see if he can win this battle with more numbers on the side of Mali. I don't know what happened to the French, uh, to the Joan of Arc troops, because they had 60k or something, and now they took 50 they're... took casualties in, a, in, a, in one battle. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the, this battle, he had like, I think, 40 something k uh, casualties. I guess yeah. one of the armies got depleted or something. He's also lost 35k from attrition. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing I was going to say, is just sieging down forts and provinces. And he's, man he's 25 man k manpower in the whole. Yeah. Yeah. No determination. Hello. Hey, yeah, so you're on Order of Joan Arc, and you're now in this position. Yeah. You're kind of getting routed by Mali in exile. Why did you join this war? Because uh, Servlad is my friend and my buddy. So you're joining just because the guy is your friend? Yes, and I heard they have good women in Spain. Ah, okay. Like very hot and attractive women. <laughs> okay, dude. And... Um, yeah, so last session you did struggle against Caliphate of England. Was a deal brokered between you guys? Yes, there was a deal. There was a deal, because I noticed he gave you back a province. Yeah, he it... said, don't put any ships, and I will give back your province. No ships in English Channel? Yes. Okay. Um, well, he gave back the equipment. He gave you money, too. Uh, no, I gave him money, 2.5k for the province. Oh, okay. Well, uh, good luck in your war. You're about to get engaged in a battle. Yeah, the Mali, uh, Mali and uh, Morocco weren't coordinated there, and Mali's stack ended up getting stack wiped, and now they're continuing yeah. here. I asked him why he joined this war, and he said uh, it was because uh, Svevlad is his friend, and he wants to help his friend. <laughs> 24 months? 22 months. Ooh, so yeah, that, that's not good. By the way, the war did end. It ended in a stab hit. Tesselian Society took max money war reps from Morocco. So, Morocco in a little bit of pain. And what I was going to say, it makes sense the second expeditionary uh, was didn't really help. What does he really gain from Iberia? There could be some kind of deal where he's like, yeah, let's split up Iberia together, which we've seen some players go for. But I think that uh, in reality, Tegan expedition is eyeing Morocco. And actually, Morocco broke, alliance. broke alliances. He didn't take max money. He took broke the alliances. Yeah, no met war reps, but he did break the alliances of Morocco. Maybe a, a truce break is coming once Tesla and society feels like he has naval superiority, which he probably does now because he does have 36 galleys. No heavies, though. No heavies. One thing one thing we haven't mentioned at all is I wonder what Varen Nostrum is going to be doing. Is he just going to be like friendly with Potato Crusader for the time being until he can catch up in military quality? Or is he going to be going in on, on him soon and or just building up? He's kind of he's kind of ran out of I, AI to I kill at all. What's that? Serbia player left. That's what yeah, Serbia player. He's eating up Serbia. Yeah. And by the way, room formed, and he does have the special room government and the. Oh, okay. He has the old Ottoman mission tree. I don't know. That's how it worked. So right. room <laughs> room gets the old oh. Ottoman mission tree before the patch, but they do get a unique government. They do have the Sultan of Room government. So they government. just get a million clients. Uh, he does get Ayalets, Yeah.
enables Ayalit subjects, has harem events, has Pashas, has Janissaries. So he also has Janissaries. All basically, it can just get killed, it can just get rolled over by anybody, but it seems that it has uh, some friendly people around, so... He did I don't go. Think that would be the case. He did go cap to infantry ratio. <laughs> yeah, there's actually no military ideas in here except for cap to infantry ratio, which does nothing really. Yeah, I mean he can get to unless it doesn't unless even get him going, to 100. percent It gets him to 90. Yeah, unless he, he he need to be like specializing for cap for it to be even useful, but he's probably not going to. He doesn't. Even, he has two units of cap right now, so. Yeah. But of course, it's it's only later that he gets that bonus, but still, uh, he has literally nothing for military. Yeah, Bengals dev clicks. This is gonna be like a running theme. <laughs> uh, he's now at 359, so he did slow down on dev clicks, which does make sense because he's already dev a lot. Um, yeah, he's already dev a lot. Max power is incredible, though. It's at 120k right now with no. Uh, well, he has copper bombs from quality, which gives uh. Power it's not even close to that of Eggers, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's an, another beast, though. Two hundred and forty-six k. Still a lot. Uh, but yeah, Bengal not deving that much, and then also another one, the, another fan favorite, Kendam, just getting insane. Right now, yeah, six hundred eighty-five dev, which isn't the highest dev player, but you know he's still. Can do so many Siberian frontiers. Is he falling behind in te dip tech? He's falling behind in all techs. Um, yeah, he's been behind in techs for a while. I don't know what exactly the reasoning is. He is a republic. Yeah, probably. He's losing <laughs> his end of it in this now. Because he's on seven mil tech and five, five uh, admin tech. I guess he's trying to rush down all of Mexico, which is costing him a lot of admin. But yeah, um, so he doesn't. Yeah. It's, it's not contested right now, so it's it is a pretty good time. But Portugal or Lisboa is actually he's been he's gonna there, go but... for he's gonna go for Peru, or Lisboa I think. Yeah, yeah, Lisboa I think he is. Yeah, Vasco take a deep protect and he needs all his deep points for. Um, yeah, but he has no, he has he has three uh, dip slots uh, available, so he can just yeah he can just keep those for a while, and he already has most. He of should at least anyways. have two. He should have like two vassals for the rest of Mexico. Like you don't need to annex right now. You know, he he's probably over capacity it. already. Yeah, he is. Should, he shouldn't be that behind, but he's catching up now. He's making 15 a month. He needs to stop expanding, catch up in tax. He needs to stop losing this innovativeness. He's Maori culture with Swiss government. I think because he's now getting run down by Tesla society who has more troops, more manpower, more everything, really. And being alone in this war, it's really it's really a struggle for him. Him getting stack wiped 50k troops was really painful. Eslian society even has more morale than Morocco while having while being oh they took oh, Fez, oh. it's over. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, going <laughs> yeah, now now he's attacking Fez. Which is, attack. oh. It's gonna be a minus three with the river crossing yes. as well. Oh my god. Oh, it's, a, it's only oh, a minus know. one. It's only a minus one because he has a better maneuver. And general. he lost his, his navy. He it's also actually, has uh that's his capital too, so he gets the bonus three yeah, bonus. Yeah. But I think he's gonna get white. Oh, and then he it. lost yeah. a battle. Hello? Hello. Hello, the Kendom. Welcome. So Is this the Kendom? This is the Kendom. Yes. So of course you are definitely a viewer favorite for many reasons, but we do have to ask you, why are you so behind in technology? So um as I just was talking to my great ally of New Beliria about, my nation is the definition of suffering from success. Yeah. So if I can just, um, you know, let me show you my uh, my screen real quick. I can sort of get you into up to speed on sort of what I've been doing. So, um, yeah, let me just have you, are you seeing my uh, stream? Yeah, I'm watching your stream right now. Very nice. So, in essence, um, I have this little problem called, I have to half core everything, you see? Yeah. Everything that becomes a colony, I have to core for 30 mana. So and you all too of these, much. Exactly. It costs too much mana. And all of these I have to do um, Siberian Frontiers on. Yeah, the falling behind in dip is not the worst, uh, but I would recommend yeah, I, to you stop co full coring. I would recommend just keeping them as half yes. cores until you get the next uh, tech and idea because. You know, falling behind in ideas could be very painful, uh, right. especially if you end up in war. So that'd be my recommendation to you. Uh, you're, right, you're, you're right. still a viewer favorite, so uh, keep uh, keep going, man. 
I will, I will, I will. I've um, I, just to let them know, I've just gotten the uh, Aztec culture accepted, so we are falling with a bit of gold now. We do have a technically an economy, finally. Nice. All right, I just saw that you couldn't see that screen there. Yeah, we do. Uh, we do move uh, Ken, the Kens around a little. This is a live viewing of my army, <laughs> gearing up to um, to invade the uh, the Indians who so sat in Serbia, who have so ungraciously come into my lands. Look. Oh, you're gonna actually try fighting for this land here. You're not gonna just focus on the New World. I will be focusing on both. Um, I the Ken has, look. Brian Gosling has two eyes, so you can look two places at once. Okay, so yeah. That will be what I'm doing. Oh, uh, Amir, are you there? Yeah, I'm... Hi, yeah, so uh, this is an interview. We, uh, we, we're we noticing your country room. You're now expanding. You look really nice as a nation. What are your future plans? Uh, just scaling, I think. Just uh, scaling? Staring, uh, scaling, building. You did get the minus oh. 10 all power cost. Do you think it had a huge impact on your early game? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm taking the technologies uh, nearly 200 or 250. It's nice. so cool. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. How do you feel about having this now unique government and mission tree? I think it's cool, but not like the Ottomans. Just it's cool, I think. All right. Well, good luck, man. Okay, thank you. Take care. The event chain of events, uh, White actually ended up rage quitting after bankrupting and losing another yeah. battle. So, <laughs> yeah, Manchu... It's because Korea kept... Set, basically, Korea's been uh, giving uh, Manchu money the entire time so that he doesn't bankrupt. Or else, Manchu would have bankrupted a long time ago were it not for Korea just constantly getting, giving him money. Also, Korea's dealing with his rebels as well, so... Yeah, it, White's just uh, <laughs> not happy. And uh, by the way, I've been looking at you were talking about Manchu's corruption, but it's not going to be a problem because his banners are removing corruption when he hires them. Oh, it's, it's his infantry because 0 0.1, he, he can just spam them. Oh, oh he can remove <laughs> corruption with banners. Okay, just... yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? Something went wrong there. Yeah, no. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the... so you can just delete all his banners and spam them and delete them. Yeah, that's yeah. the that the... would be an exploit though. <laughs> That'd be considered an exploit. The Polish hug box takes another victim. Hello, fish. What's up? Hey, so uh, we're interviewing you right now on Egger. Um, a lot of people like your nation, obviously, because you do have the freaky manpower. Uh, did you do some kind of deal here, like give money so you can stay in this war, or what's up? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's basically just because it's both Crusade and the Triple Manpower, right? Yeah, so, so you're covering really fast, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, the, it's just because I kind of need to... I think I'm preparing for a war right now. I don't know if they're watching the stream, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get attacked by uh, uh, probably three people, I would imagine. Uh, I think it's going to be... Uh, you see the guy the guy in um, Cologne, Hess region? Yeah. Most likely going to be him, and then maybe his friend in uh, Lubeck, and also maybe the Potato Crusade. So I'm a bit uncertain what's going to happen there. Do you have any allies uh, that you're talking to? Uh, I mean, if it's a if it's a two v one, I think I can deal with it. But if it's going to be a three v one, then I might get uh, maybe I get Saxon in on this. Nice. Or hopefully, at least. Do you, have, do you have any plans on getting a coast soon so you can use that raid coast idea? Well, you know, if, if he attacks me, the Potato Crusade, you know, maybe that, that's a way to get my uh, my uh, rating. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mayor Nordstrom. Hi, Habibi. Hey, uh, how's how's your game going? Oh, really good. We got some Balkan stuff. We have a vassal there. Yeah. So you fight the Mediterranean. It's oh, yeah. You have, you have the fourth Rome, another custom nation as your vassal. And it has Ottoman government, actually. <laughs> Ideas are a little shit, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it's something. It's nice anyway, yeah. It's going nice. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Do you, do you have any plans on expansion, or are you just going to scale here? For now, scale. But uh, probably Constantinople later. Maybe. Are going you... To are you not afraid of the Potato Crusaders? They seem really strong and they're quite scary and they have ganked in the past, so... 
Uh, we are uh, boxing, let's say. Like, we have an agreement splitting Italy. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm not going to break it anytime soon, but maybe he does. Hello, Potato Crusader? Are you there? Okay, Potato Crusader. Oh, hey, hey, Potato Crusader. How do you feel about this game so far? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. We had uh, two really nice war, and we are planning the next against Agar. Oh, you right so, now. so you're gonna attack Agar? Yeah, it will be a 1v1 or a 2v1 or 2v2. I don't know right now, but we are planning an attack, yeah. Do you th feel like the 10 plus 10 discipline at the start was really powerful or OP even? Uh, yeah, I think it was really powerful. But uh, I, it, at least my neighbors was, was worried. So it was good, I think. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, good luck in your war, man. Wall? Hello. Hey, so uh, how's your game going? I see you have a four on almost every province. Yeah. What's the uh, game? That is part of the plan. What's the plan? Uh, Tell us the plan. Everyone is so excited to hear about what your plan is. Uh, well, I've done some Diplo with uh, Manchu. With Manchu? Uh, and Yeah, and he's he's promised me the Great Wall of China monument, uh, which is very important for me, because it gives me more defense and attrition. How so are you going to get that? Uh, some shenanigans. So we're going to see some shenanigans where you're going to get the Great Wall monument. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm trying to do Diplo with Creature as well. And you're doing Diplo with Creature. How's that going? Uh, well, he's a creature, so it's very difficult. You can't communicate in his language? Yeah, that that is that is the problem. <laughs> Just go, huh, and make other random noises. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ah. <laughs> yeah, you'll understand that, maybe. Bengal yes. players. Uh, both of you, because one of you is the sub and one of you is the main talking to the sub. How is the game going for Bengal? We're gaming. Gaming? Yes, yeah. And we're looking for it. We're doing the India, the classic India where you just do nothing. Amazing India gameplay. Average India yeah. gameplay. Well, we probably... It's not even ego, but we could run down somebody, but it's not fun. Ah, okay. It's like, it's like you're a WWE fighter and you're fighting like a 10-year-old. It's just not fun for you, you know? It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> um, so... What, is there a player that you're eyeing down right now as the first target, or no? We're just building uh, Utopia here. So my game plan is to just sit here and then... Um, well, if you look at our last idea, we have minus 100 attrition on transports. So we just... Um, <laughs> we will do some interventions later down the line. Let's put it that way. You're going to put some troops on a boat and they're not going to attrition. Yes, and we will... We will put them to good use around the world. All right. Abroad. <laughs> All right. Nice, nice, nice. I'm looking forward to that. Good luck, guys. Dude, I have six stats. Look at Kemri. Absolute Habibi, the Imperishable. Mercenary Maintenance, minus 25. Discipline, Reformist. Great guy. <laughs> Great Keep this guy, guy forever because he is imperishable. What's funny is he went for this and he doesn't have the Monarch lifespan. That would, you know, keep the LARP going. Call the creature. That the chat wants to talk, please answer. You know, what's funny is that, um, you know, you can use these videos to see what is the most OP. I guess that's the entire idea. We can uh, look at the top five at the end and see what ideas, and then you can make an idea build based off of those to try to get the most OP nation. But you got to also remember that the player factor comes in as well. These players aren't all equal skill level. By the way, the player war has just started between Potato Crusaders and Egger. It's a 2v1 right now. Negger is alone in the war with a 382k max manpower. Jeez. 382k max manpower. Yeah, it's, uh, creature is not answering, so we'll give up on that. Maybe he'll do it later. The order is what still you... is still fighting him. Morocco gave up. Is this a fake war? It could be a fake it war. Has to be. There's no way he decks this without it, but is Congo mobilizing? It kind of looks like it, but he's not he's moving. A, he's asking for the land in the... Uh, it could have been he a bluff. He might just be asking for. I think he might just uh, probably doing just a deal for like West African coast, so he can get yeah, those it is. centers. It is. That's what he asked. But who hasn't accepted yet? Oh, uh, and the uh, Caliphate of England formed England, so now he is England with. 
Why did you release Ireland? What? Oh, and it's through... the personal. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, it's because oh, he did the PU. Yeah, he did the parliament thing. He made it. I don't know if this is intentional. We'll ask him later. If that was intentional. PU. <laughs> Wait, PU. The, first, PU. the first ever, the first ever in Batty PU. <laughs> he, 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 he did his golden arrow. He did his gold. He's, he's probably preparing what? for war then. Oh, yeah. he's seventy income over the next person, which is uh, Indonesia, New Valeria. Wow. That is insane. Yeah, the, the England region with goods produced. OP, who'd have thought? Who, who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thought? He has the full English mission tree now, so he can get a lot of sick bonuses from this mission tree. He can also colonize and choose the trade good. He is starting to do colonies right now, so there, that's what's going on with him. And it's a uh, man who formed later Jin, by the way. He is now in his bankruptcy. Uh, taking debt while in bankruptcy is really painful. He's at minus three stability as well, so he needs to fix that. Also needs to reduce his corruption because he's right now still uh, gaining he's corruption. Th he's losing 34 targets per month. Yeah. While bankrupt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One is fixed. That, inf One that, <laughs> that, that uh, inflation and also the fact that he has like nothing uh, cored in China and he raised it, so it's not like huge. Like high dev land. We got the infamous. We got the infamous here creature. He says, "I have two questions." Chat. What should be our first question that we ask the creature? I'm saying we have to ask the chat two two questions. We can ask the creature here, and then he will go back into his cave. So, what are the two questions for him? I'm a golem wandering this path. Okay. The first question is, "How old are you?" This, that's not important. Okay, that doesn't count. Okay, then uh, how are you? Just to give you four question. How are you? Jesus. <laughs> These are bad questions. <laughs> okay, so you are here. Okay, for real now. Two questions. Oh, okay, actually, this is this is a you four question. Are you into feet? That's enough. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. All right, so you're here in um, where normally uh, Prussia would be. Uh, I'm Are guessing... you making up questions now? Yes, I have to make up questions. That's my job. So, um, what is your plan now? What is your plan for expansion? What do you plan to do? Uh, I don't really want to expand any much. Because uh, when I form Prussia, governing capacity will be a bit of a problem. You're already a bit over. Yes. Like, are you friendly so with... Four, yeah. I'm not friendly with anyone. You're not friendly with anyone? Not even fish? Uh, he rivaled me, I rivaled him. He wanted a Krakow state, fuck that. <laughs> you wanted Krakow state. Alright, well, thank you. Thank you, Speed3. Thank you, Creature, for communicating with us. I'll let you go now. Thank you. While we have Yugoslavia here, the Persia player who the Yugoslavia that forms Persia, how do you feel about this game right now? Oh shit, it's going so well, man. I, I have 127 income already. My army is probably the greatest in the region. Honestly, it could not be going better. Wait, I just realized why is Yazad a vassal of white? Okay, so listen. What? Originally, I was planning to convert to Confucian, so <laughs> I'm did this freaky thing where I gave him it as a vassal so he could enforce faith. Then I realized that Azarostrian is actually pretty overpowered, so I just decided not to. Yeah, you also, if you go Confusion, you won't get the discipline from the Great Project. Oh, I will. I will if I center size. I checked. But okay. um, it doesn't matter since there's a lot of decisions for Zoroastrian, I realized. I get like permanent 15% advisor cost. Uh, also, get my power in True Faith yeah. provinces from a decision. Yep. True, I got that too. Uh, the monument is also crazy good. Yeah, I was about to say, like, the 10 discipline, that's really good, especially with your ideas. I think it's really good. Zerastian's really good. Fits the LARP. What are your plans? I didn't bother planning for now. I'm on good terms with all my neighbors, I think. I'm just going to say Are you just uh, waiting for Age of Reformation to get that <laughs> death much. cost? Yeah. Yeah. In 100 months, you can start Jones. going towards it yeah it's good he issues i don't think i'll have a single like age objective fulfilled so. you, you convert it you, you, you converted. can convert and you can True. enforce religion on one of your vassals as well to get that uh age True. bonus as well that's two age bonuses right there yeah right 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 yep. and then i think you, you'll be trading in silk which are uh, in the yeah in silk which will give yeah, you another is. age objective yes yeah, so yeah, you'll, you'll be fine 
You'll have three age objectives. Three. Yeah. That's pretty Ooh, good. Right, right, right. Also, check my government type and my like government interactions. They're so, so, so. Yeah, weird. you get dev cost. Uh, you get manpower. Dev cost, missionary, inno gain, manpower, and also yeah, I guess the decisions. The decisions are so good. Fifteen percent construction cost forever, essentially, and like minus ten dev cost I think in my capital state. Yeah, you gotta move yeah. your capital Mine around. Yeah, minus twenty. Yeah. And also claims. I don't know how you wait. Zerashin also gets the feudal theocracy. That's pretty interesting. Watchers of the Is Wall there... with 190 fourth defense just sitting there. What does this guy even do except just wait for someone to attack him? What if no one ever attacks this guy? He's just gonna be an endless just uh just fort. <laughs> That's all he's doing. He's just one big fort. His entire country is just one big fort. Yeah, every province has a fort. Every single one. Yeah, his Depends. capital is 15k garrison size. We we're looking at earlier. Anyways, in uh, this war right here, it looks like that the numbers advantage is actually it's pretty close in numbers, but with Potato Crusade not able to link up, no one giving mill access to him, so not able to link up here. Um, it's yeah. gonna be tough for them. But Edgar now oh, is they actually battle. won a battle. Oh, they, the, oh, they they were too late to reinforce him. They lost a battle in uh, and yeah, now and now Edgar's, uh, I get, think Edgar's gonna get stack wiped maybe. They already had one. Ooh, no, not a sack wipe. But he's fine. Edgar going for like a lot of cav here, trying to get any quality he can because he doesn't have any military quality in his ideas. Yeah, yeah not a stack wipe, but the stack lost uh, half its strength and its cav, so it's expensive. Yeah, Potato Crusader once again ganking. He's now become a known ganker. People know that he will call in people. The 3v2 and uh, uh, they're trying uh, to win this war. Uh, Edgar is now at, out of manpower. At, uh, Russia. Russia. Russia formed? Oh, no, but they, they're uh, massacring uh, the uh, Rawazid. I don't know how to say that. Oh, yeah, he's defeating Rawazid, Rasweed, uh, West Sweden. Yeah. It's not looking good for Rasweed, Sweden. He has enough to. The green, the green guy uh, charged 100k to 21 and lost. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the that's the power of Wing to Sars, really. I don't know how you win this war, actually, as Second Dutch Expedition. Hesleyan society they has We're like one. 37 38k more troops and they're already at one fort this is not looking good for Edgar Edgar is also again once again out of manpower but he does gain 4,000 a month if he slackens he'll gain even more really rough for second duck expedition there's cutoffs happening at every single angle uh if he can somehow stop the reinforcements he could probably win the main battle in Hodna and oh wayfarers have joined on the side of the second dust expedition it's now a 2v1 oh yeah now it's not fair for the second dust expedition side and there's troops, troops, troops yeah. getting stack wipe two stack wipes happened it is a chinese uh chinese kingdom here um with uh, the manchu the ching oh it's just manchu mission tree it's almost all already done Hello. leski mr england and uh england caliphate that's now just england abadi england how's your game going uh, it's going pretty good. Yeah, it, I mean it started off a bit rough with the uh, Nolan's player decking me, uh, but then we came to an agreement, so it's fine. Yeah, I saw you gave ba uh, gave him Bruges back. Uh, so why did you release Ireland as a personal union? Um, it was a misclick, but I guess Ibadi Ireland P is funny. Yeah, well. it's, <laughs> it's funny. funny. <laughs> it is funny, and you're integrating it now, but that's funny. That is funny. All right. Well, what are your plans for this game? If you want to share them, I mean, I think it's, I think it's like take the thirteen colonies and just sit here and LARP on Britain, like LARP is a baddie England. It's a baddie, yeah. yeah. Later, let's Britain, <laughs> but it's a body. Uh, like I'm just Masha gonna Allah be rich. Will crush the rebels in the thirteen colonies. Mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed too he's not converting anything, which is smart because he just is using the Demi Estate to max out, getting more manpower too because of uh, his dev is so Demi construction so cheap. Dev, it's really really cheap. Yeah, it is pretty cheap land to dev, and it's gonna get cheaper. Ten percent more. Yeah. It's... Yeah, you should use expand infrastructure as much as possible here. Yeah. Especially, Especially with the good always just, you always just uh, you can always just decrease it after you're done. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like, like he's not expanding and he has gold houses, uh, good gold houses to build. He's devving he's as really we speak. 
that Thessalian society now was actually pushed back by the Wayfarers and the Second Dutch Expedition. Second Dutch Expedition committing really hard for this war, um, while Thessalian society is not even taking any uh, debt. Well, he is taking, he took burger loans, but he's not taking any new debt. He needs to get more troops here, potentially. He's actually gun Where are his troops? It's very close. The morale is really, like, tense right now. But I think... Uh, uh, Marin Nostrum joined on his side. Marin oh, Nostrum did Marin join Nostrum on his joined side. the Thessalian society. So it is now a 2v2. Some big wars happening this session. Yeah, and Marin Nostrum has full manpower. Meanwhile, second Dutch expeditions on none. Oof. And Wayfarers is Wayfarers, so they have 60k max manpower and no no quality apart from their idea their idea groups. Uh, Wayfarers 5 morale for this war. And it is the side of Massive. the Dutch expedition that is winning. But is Mare Nordstrom going to mobilize? They joined the war, but they're just sitting still. You know, classic EU4 MP, yeah, I'll help you, and just doesn't I even mean, mobilize. It... <laughs> yeah, 50% will force me. It's funny because Wayfarers have uh, 50%, or they have those morale bonus like those tiny morale bonuses and like they're still less than the other side even yeah. with all of them added up yes yeah. they're, they're less than the Mare Nostrum and they're less than uh Tesselian but Tesselian has 15% morale so it's not really comparable Tesselian has has uh, a couple of heavies and 50 uh trade ships could do some, could do some goofy stuff no he doesn't <laughs> They still like they're just sieging stuff down again. Yeah, it's going it's back and like, forth. This is definitely I mean, the biggest war. They got two million casualties total already in a war in fifteen oh seven. Edgar's yeah, manpower just, just Edgar goes has up. Three hundred fifty k max manpower right now. His manpower just I mean, goes up and up, dude. Anymore. You know, <laughs> this is the thing he went for first, right? People are saying, "Oh, triple manpower increase in religious wars is OP." Uh, keep in mind that this guy was one of the last picks. Not only that, Egger picked his first idea when everyone already picked two ideas because originally the Egger player was being played by someone else and he just wasn't drafting ideas so we replaced him with someone else who had to draft two ideas right before anyone else drafted and the player chose May Raid Coasts including Coasts of Countries with Same Religion and Triple Manpower Increase in Religious Wars. But yeah, Battle this... going on in North Africa, uh, Tesla Society attacking into the hills uh in oida or however you pronounce that is mayor nordstrom mobilizing still just standing still he actually lost navally somehow what did he, he had to, what, yeah oh he did yards? yeah he lost to uh the combined fleets i think because uh, wayfarers has three yeah. heavies dutch expedition has one mayor nordstrom only has one heavy and uh i think together dutch expedition has uh 40 galleys Wayfarers only has one. Point eight morale with no morale ideas. From Crusade, Army Reform. Oh, he got Army Reform. Oh, that's oh. why. Papal that's Blessing, why. Also, uh, Thriving Army Arms tradition Industry. That's Mission. His, uh, his uh, advisor as well. Doesn't even have gold Also, his ruler, his ruler has a morale of armies. He's, it's uh, the Duchess uh, Svatava with Inspiring Leader. That's pretty crazy. He even went quantity ideas. <laughs> yeah, quantity ideas. No manpower. <laughs> Very long time. Yeah, 1v1. There's the Lubeck 1v1 versus Saxony going on as well. Meanwhile, Creature just doing Creature things, drilling. He's making a lot of money on Creature. A lot, a lot of money. He's not fighting a new war. He has a knowledge share. Plus three, 10. Three. What the? What the? Okay, uh, what's. Okay. Help myself back, it's fine. He has so many good That's generals. Very, sorry. Yes, Spain. Uh, Raswedin and Harad is over. Harad takes the Afghanistan region from Raswedin. Raswedin just fought two player wars in a row and 18k of that. That's not being repaid. 18k, am I reading that right? Yeah, 18k of that. They're, that's not getting repaid. So probably a bankruptcy coming from Raswedin. Not feeling good for him. Good for Persia because he can finally get rid of that green nation that's on his border that has literally the same color as him. Also, he'll be able to get more. He'll be able to eat into a good trade node for him. Flows directly into his. Just, uh, just really a good place for him to expand. You can also get another ration bonus. Govern capacity is probably what's coming yeah. next. <laughs> Wait, what? 156 yeah. overextension because he has the province war score cost and war score cost versus others. And room decked, room decked on him while he has 150 Whoa. war extension. It's a room Persia war, Yugoslavia and Persia. Let me just do room a quick test. Room has less troops than Yugoslavia and Persia, but the, he has way more manpower though. I mean, you gotta be careful not to lose this war as room. You could end up losing so much land. 
because of the province war score cost that Persia has stacked up. But if Persia does that though, you might fly cl too close to the sun and just end up collapsing his country. From being overextended? Just from just from rebels always popping up. If Ras I don't know if Ras Wadeen's left already, but Ras Wadeen could truce break and then he'd be in a really bad position. Oh. Yeah, we have to watch this war. This is going to be a quite interesting one versus one. This is the war for the Baghdad Iraq region. I think, uh, how close is he to getting the wonder up? He's it's really not far. Close. It's it's 36 years. So. He, he does have the five discipline at least. So it's not like he's not getting anything. But another five discipline and then also uh, five. He has five more damage. discipline than Room. Room has no discipline at all. Room doesn't have discipline at all. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a hundred discipline. What does Room have for military ideas? Artillery combat ability. But ability. It's yeah. like the same as it's like the same as uh, Persia, but without the RD shock. Stack wiped Room already. got stack wiped. Wait, uh, Room, it's yeah, not looking too good. Have a second one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, is he but, gonna I mean, take this he battle? He can just keep going. He can just keep going. Go attack. You have a full fucking. You have a full back row. Go Persia. Persia can just win every battle because Persia has that two RD shock and he has 115 discipline as well as uh, more fire damage from. Uh... Actually, no, he has more shock damage, which is actually better for him right now. Barbiland is in this war, but I don't think he's going to help. On the battle where there's a rebel stack, I don't know if we consider that an exploit. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, it's not no, he's, it's not. He's just going to be the defender. No, Joan of Arc is going to be the defender. Ah. They should not have engaged this. You know, that's bad because they stayed in the battle the whole time. They weren't able to uh, control, when you, consolidate you, the, you need the, the unit um, model of uh, Germany? I did not, but meanwhile, oh my god. There's no way, dude. There's no way. The room is just getting shredded. This two uh, artillery yeah. shock is just too strong. It's too strong. It's, liter it's literally just too powerful. It's too powerful. The, the artilleries are just... He can't. He's... He has a, a full pa a full back row with two shock is incredible. And he also got the tech as well. So now he's on basically he has uh he has forty percent RD uh combat ability in the back row. Meanwhile in North Africa it's a standoff. No one's doing anything. Interesting gameplay there. <laughs> <laughs> uh and French Tuscany is starting to take corruption, by the way. Yeah, he needs to reduce war exhaustion if possible, but I think he's not just because he thinks it's he's gaining too much for it to be worth reducing it. I mean, yeah, you have your capital sieged, you're, it's just so hard. Is it worth the day? Hey, Crusader took out 60 mercenaries, and uh, they're still sieging, uh, or Potato Crusader, rather, is going for Salzburg again, and Edgar took the 60 mercenaries. This so, war is just, it's just pain for everyone involved. I think Edgar is actually the one that's getting hurt the least from this. This war has been going on for 15 years. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, almost 4 million total casualties. <laughs> in 1512. Okay, that's dude. The entire, the entire population of, the, of, of <laughs> Europe combined. Yeah. They just all died. Don't ask questions. These battles, though, really close. They're really close, won. and they won in Orleans. Uh, they, uh, do they do his tab hit? What do they even do? Like, French Tuscany is probably telling him, like, Ben Fork is probably saying, Hey, dude, I'm going to bankrupt if we don't unseed me. But if they do unseed, maybe they'll get close to 95. I'm not sure. I don't know what the total occupation war score is. Mateo Crusader not realizing what, that what uh, do sieging do? down Salzburg is not the, uh, the move, <laughs> and maybe they'll try to walk through... Marinostrum and try to link up that way. And in, in the times of war, the most prosperous place is the Watchers of the Wall. Whose, <laughs> whose income is suffering because he has no economic bonuses in his oh, eyes. I just, I just boost. Uh, Habibi, just uh, I mean, you're talking about yeah. uh, going to 95, but look, look, they have occupied two provinces. What are they, what are they going, to, going to enforce for? Yeah. True. Wait, what do they enforce for? I, was, I don't think this war is going to end in the next five years, I'll be honest. Congo here while this is all going on. Just kind of building up, you know. He formed Congo. I think it might have been a good idea to actually form Great Zimbabwe next because then he would get the dev from building. And Room is getting stack wiped again. And Room is getting stack really? wiped. More important things. Yeah. Also, uh, they're currently pushing Joan of Arc right now. Yeah. The Potato Crusader sure. once again going for Salzburg. Is this the... <laughs> the <laughs> the Malian Siege. <laughs> 
<laughs> the dying hill of Potato Crusade. If they can get this 14%, it would probably turn the tide of the war once again. Oh, they dust and then it would it. last another 100 years. What do they even enforce? They're getting close to enforcing. French Tuscany yeah. now can take more debt. Mo the minus one interest, he actually can take 12 more loans. This uh, is Yeah, this is really OP. Also, he's getting subsidies now from really England. England is actually subsidizing French Tuscany against Joan of Arc and all of these people. I guess he, he, he didn't Salzburg. make a deal. He didn't make a deal with Joan of Arc. I, I think he still doesn't want him to be strong just because, of course, it would lower his income quite significantly. Put a discipline advisor. And he has, he has one point morale. more morale, actually. So even yeah, though but, he's taking uh, insane casualties, Persia's at 98, win. though. Persia's at 98. Now it's 90. Sport. He can't anymore. He can't force anymore. No, it's... Oh, it's an uncon. Potato Crusader uncon. Does that mean Edgar's uh, gonna get a coast? He can start raiding. Oh, he didn't take anything. That's what he did. He didn't even take a coast. He, he removed the alliances <laughs> of Potato. Right now, that's been chilling. Look at the... Look at the... Look at the India. It's all filled up with players already. Well, so the players do need to fight wars if they want to expand. Dutch second Dutch expedition. How's the war going? Uh, it's still uh, losing right. battles. Rod still opting to be a horde. He's losing minus four horde unity, uh, even though oh he still doesn't have his 0.5 horde unity. Yeah, that's really gonna help you when you're losing four a year. Four point five a year. Right what Room is winning hard right now. Room is winning. <gasps> Room yeah. has turned the tide of the war. It only costs him losing four hundred ducats a month. 18k, 18 loans, and another one battle for room. You have a force limit, like almost 100%, uh, 80%. Persia's also committing pretty hard now, I think. Yeah, I think he has to, to try to win this war. Plus two artillery shock, not as OP uh, as we thought. Yeah, he just recruited his 60k mercs in the Hansa, casually. <laughs> yeah, I just realized too, Saxony is bankrupt and tackling national debt, which means that at full morale, he has 0.5 morale. Full morale oh, is it is correct five. that it is oh, correct no. that he That's a skill oh, issue. That he used the decision wrong. Uh, yeah, I, that's I, I so thought for painful. a second I was Oos and that he, he didn't actually recruit them, but uh No he did. Not. He, <laughs> yeah. did. he did for um Saxony and there is the battle. Saxony's gonna yeah. try to reinforce, but I don't think it, he can't even take on one K with his nine K. He can't even yeah, take one he has, K. <laughs> he has point five morale, dude. <laughs> He has, he, it's like he has his army maintenance slider just turned off. It's like it's the exact and same. He could thing. get stack wiped by 6k, and uh, the Kendom actually lost that battle somehow. And now the Hansa troops are gonna go and just stack wipe the Saxon troops. There's no way that they live here. Yeah, they. <laughs> no <laughs> barrage for fighting a 1k, a 1k stack versus 12k. Cannot the Saxons, them. they're coming in for more. Oh, they're also gonna try to stack wipe the Ken troops. Rip Ken. How many lives are going to be lost? Did Room White Peace? Did the war end? Yeah, the war ended. I think, I think they, they White Peaced. No, it was Room the is... a, They have a seven year truce, so it's at the White Peace. He probably just so stabbed it for money or something. I think Perno yeah. stabbed it for money or something. It's really rough for Room because Room ended up taking 15k debt here, which is almost half his loan cap, which is repayable. Yeah, yeah, but... he did. He... It's just He's so bad, for dude. War exo or for war reps and money. You can see on Persia's. Yeah. The Dutch expedition also losing here with yeah. max loans. Yeah. The Wayfarer is lefting them kind of heard the situation. I think Mayor Nordstrom said, let it keep being a 1v1 or I help. So Wayfarer is left because I think Mayor Nordstrom is scarier than Wayfarer Wayfarers. It's In spirit, overlord. you will live on. <laughs> Our overlord is saving us. <laughs> will your overlord win this battle though? Do you think so? He will. He will. I believe in him. He is Kenna. He's Kenob. <laughs> the rolls are not Kenob. The rolls are not Kenob. You need to roll crazy on the fire phase here. To win this battle, you need yeah, to roll... Yeah, it was a one. No. no. Kenob finally finishing his ideas, getting that infantry fire. Is this is this what we needed? I don't know. I think... The, the garrison there's... comes out. It was stack wiped instantly. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought that the 0.5 morale garrison would get stack wiped immediately? Uh, Hans can do I'm it. A, I'm a minus two, I'm a minus two with my with uh, minus point eight morale. Ah, shit! Now they're winning. Oh, it's a hundred percent war score though, because he's fully sieged. <laughs> Saxony's unless, fully sieged. Unless it's, it's over. Uh, it's so over. Let's get French Tuscany in here. So, you just fought a really hard war. 
What is <laughs> yes. what is the future for French Tuscany? The future for French. Well, we want, wanted to ask Kruder if we can join his war, but he's getting uh, <coughs> ran down, so we can't join, reclaim the French lands. Bit and too we're late in debt. too. So why did you join we, on Edgar's side rather than helping Tunisia earlier? Well, uh, that was one one. I kept it. Edgar was like getting ganked. Edgar was getting. So, okay. but here's 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 the thing. They, I told them. Uh, well, I thought we can annul treaties with Germany, so we can choose great. The net of the Dutch guy, but we didn't. We couldn't make it somehow with the peace deal because it wasn't prime. Yeah. So that was like that's that was the whole process. It's fine though. We, we will bounce back. We always do. We always do. When are well, we going to see transformed? Oh, we are. We just need to annex the the the, 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 the vessels. vessels. Yeah, annex the vessels. We form France, and when France is formed, territories has to be reclaimed. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, That's not with I'm the 23k say. troops you have right now. Well. <sighs> I don't know if you're mocking the French or actually <coughs> Tuscan no, French uh, army, sir. But the French, no, there's only one. But we them. just got new men. All right, that's that's all we care about. Russia formed. There's no more, uh, no more of uh, the Kemri, or whatever it was called. And uh, yeah, Russia formed. Russia with winged hussars, uh, Streltsy, Kozak. and Kozaks. This is just the. Nice. the this Russia is the unique the unit, yes. special unit uh, build here on Russia. This is so cool. <laughs> he has a mission for t for uh, two national unrest, 25 stop cost, 10% uh, goods produced, and 25 reform progress for 50 years. Yeah, the for growth free? of power. What? The new Russia mission <laughs> tree is good. Wrong. Oh, uh, Victor, Kemri player, now just formed Russia. We were just talking about how awesome your idea build is. You know, you got all this unique unit modifiers. Uh, yes. While being able to form Streltsy, while being able to do Kozaks, while being able to do uh, uh, Hussars. What's the plans for the undead Russia? Well, undead Russia, we kind of abolished infantry. And we're just going 400% cavalry issue and some artillery. Oh! So in our previous war, yeah, in our previous war, we basically decapitated the horde player on Vasredin, who kind of stepped too far yeah. in our region, and then we didn't really like it. Even though he had horde pips and it was a not a good cavalry tech, we still beat him. Nice. And yeah, we are just gonna scale now, and we are gonna do some conquest later. Are you going to make use of your fleet move speed bonus? Exactly. I'm just gonna like if something happens, I'm just gonna run away and. <laughs> just gonna get, just gonna send over uh, like a huge shipment of troops, and if yeah. they're about to get engaged, you just run away. Yeah. At the end, I had like nothing to pick. So I just feel like, oh, what can I? Pick to look good, so I can LARP, you know. Pickle transit. Victor, thank you for coming in for interviewing. Uh, we'll see you around. We're, we're taking, we have a close eye on your nation. Anytime. Anytime. Habibi died though. Also, integrate yeah. your Theodoro vassal. It's disgusting. Dutch expedition ended up losing to uh, Teslian society, and he bankrupted. And now Wayfair is decked on him. So that's going to be another player death. Surprisingly, Mali, despite losing two player wars, still in the game. But now with. Uh, with the Dutch expedition dying out as well, he's probably going to expand. Coming to an end, we're going to end here on January. But before we end, there's two things that we have to do. We have to check Bengal's dev clicks, uh, which is a total <laughs> of it's like 600, 600 almost. Yeah, maybe he's probably going to hit 600 by the end of the year. Uh, and we need to check on Kendom's expansion of America. It's big, dude. Kendom is so big. He needs to use his uh, trade. He's 1,200 dev. But he's bigger than me, what? But he has less, it probably less income than you just because he's not even using his merchants for some reason. He's fixing it now. His income has doubled in the last hour. How much income is he at? He's at 101. Oh, okay. Yeah. With economic big part, of, big part of that is gold, though, so. Yeah, he's making 11 from trade. Yeah. 11 from. Someone needs to tell this man that he can use three other merchants. I'll go tell him. Tell this man, it's make it's triggering me. He's just losing trade money to I don't even know what to Lisboa. You talk about yeah, uh, yeah, Lisboa, Mexico. With that, is there any final words you have, guys, my co-casters? Uh, subscribe to Habibi. He's a very nice guy. Enough said. <laughs> and with that, that brings us to end.
of session two of Habibi's Daycare. Of course, this is streamed live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. CET, which is 1 p.m. EST, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is the time for me. Our top three uh, nations in terms of development, starting with Xing. Although they're sitting at 1200 dev, they still have a massive corruption problem. Their income is one of the worst in the game for a top GP, and their manpower is also lacking. They did stack all of their military modifiers in the front of their ideas, so there's not much more quality that are going to come for Xing, at least nothing in the near future. Next is the Thessalian Society who not only consolidated Iberia but also has Fra lands in the south of France and lands in the north of Africa. Their income's doing pretty good. Their ideas are pretty good as well. They did load a lot of their stuff in the front like most players. However, they did take a considerable amount of debt, something that they're going to have to spend at the beginning of next session dealing with. However, since he is Portuguese culture, he can form Spain at Tech 10 admin for the mission tree. Next, we have the Kendom, who, of course, a lot of the chatters have been rooting for. And although they have a 666 scholar, they're behind in all techs, every single tech group they're behind. At least he did finish his two idea groups. However, he's still lacking in governing capacity, and it's something he's going to have to worry about. He also has to worry about the colonizers encroaching on the new world as it's becoming more and more contested. And he also has a serious lack of buildings. This player has basically no buildings throughout his entirety of his territory. Some here and there, but not as much as you would like to see for a nation of this size. So probably going to be spending a lot of next session building up. We should also mention Bengal, the player that has been devving so much, specifically because he has such a high income as well as a high max manpower. This is definitely going to be the power of India to beat. However, this session he did focus on internal buildup, and as we heard in the interview, he has no plans to kill the other Indians as of now. But will that remain? We will have to wait and see. The last nation we need to mention is the Islamic Imamate of Great Britain. This was formed by the Caliphate of England. And uh, although he still has that Irish PU, which is hilarious, he is the number one income in the game and by far. What is he going to do with that income? Will he consolidate the English Channel and kill the Order of Joan Arc? Well, we're going to have to wait and see in the next session. Of course, we got to thank our patrons. Thank you, my top patrons, Lumina, Leonard, Craig, Amir, Fluxy, Anderson, Pina, Chogos, Mason, Andruska, Ravis, Diaz, Laius, RVR, Will, Beyond, Fabulous, Nail, Hassium, Tonix, Henning, Balmark, and Zorovia. Thanks again for watching, guys. Regular upload schedule coming back. I took a little bit of a break there for a week as I was focusing on my real life issues. Thanks again. Thank you for the support. Check out my other YouTube. See you later.